Good evening indeed, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what promises to be a very exciting night for Magpies All. We have a great lineup of players tonight from the era that we salute, the 70s, and dare I say, we have some players from other eras too, and you are all most welcome. As for me, well, I'm one of the crowd, I suppose. I certainly have been at places like Pratton Park, Litcombe Oval, Campbelltown, and other venues over the years, and it's always been a pleasure to watch you go around in the mighty black and white. Tonight promises to be a pretty exciting sort of an evening. We've got many highlights for you, and uh, a very exciting video that will transport you back to the era that we salute tonight. And that's been a labor of love for a couple of guys who will get their credits as the night moves on. May as well mention them now, Bill Owens, of course, and Rick Wade, who will be joining me with the roving microphone a little bit later. Give them a round of applause. Always good to clap in advance, just in case you don't like the product at the end. But having seen it this afternoon, I'm sure that you will. It is a magnificent production. It really does capture the era and some of the magic moments of the magpies of the 70s. Ladies and gentlemen, our sponsor tonight, of course, primarily is this wonderful venue, West Ashfield. Superb club, and it's great to be able to welcome you to it on behalf of the management and staff who certainly will be looking after you this evening. We have great players of the 70s, and they will all get their turn at the microphone and certainly will be introduced to you through the evening. So uh, to move things along, we will welcome them as a whole, and I will mention some who aren't with us. Uh, one, of course, Dallas Donnelly, but represented tonight by Gloria Donnelly, and we're very happy about that, and uh, Don Rogers. Yes. Don Rogers, represented tonight by Marilyn Rogers. Nice to have you with us, Marilyn. As to the apologies, we do have a few. Tom Radonikus, Russell Mullins, and Ron Gitto. Also, Noel Kelly. Uh, we have apologies, too, from uh, Laurie Bruyers. Also from Bruce Clark, Steve Goshen, and John Jacobs. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move into the formalities of the evening now, but if I could just put in a little plug, which is difficult for somebody who does the weather on the ABC, you know, because you're not supposed to do advertisements, I do want you to hang on to your programs tonight because you'll need them. There are a lot of winners in the room tonight, of course, as we look back on that era of the 70s, but we want to make some people winners here tonight, and uh, you'll need your program for that because you'll need it for trivia. Also, at least the raffle prizes, and uh, as somebody used to say, we hope you've brought your money with you when it comes to the raffle. Magnificent memorabilia on sale too as the evening progresses. We'll tell you more about that a little later. But just make sure you keep those programs handy. And why wouldn't you? They'll be a great souvenir of the night. This is not just a salute to the 70s. It's also a great season launch for the Western Suburbs Magpies. And I'd like to now get things underway by introducing the chairman of the West's Magpies, Mr. Kevin Hammond. Special guests, former players, the families, supporters, members, ladies and gentlemen, and importantly, members of the Magpie family. On behalf of the board and management of the Western Suburbs District Rugby League Football Club, I'd like to welcome you here on this very, very special occasion for the club at a very, very special venue and one which has its traditional origins and traditional links to the Western Suburbs Magpies this magnificent club at West Ashfield. In speaking of uh, special guests tonight, I'd like to make special mention of the players, the former players that have come here tonight, particularly those that were involved with the team of the 70s, the selected team of the 70s. It is a significant impost upon them to get them up into a room and get them to sign just about everything we can put our hands on. But I have to say there has never been one issue, one problem, nothing has been an impost for them and I thank them very, very much for their cooperation and in the spirit in which they have assisted the Magpies uh, throughout, not only on this function, but previously with the Team of the Century function. Also tonight, I'd like to welcome some special guests that are here to, to join us here in this celebration. I'd like to welcome the, uh, the, the board and the members of the Balmain Tigers, of whom we share, obviously, a very close bond through our association with West Tigers, but also our first match in competition back in 1908. So welcome to the Balmain Tigers.
and also to the West Tigers that are here tonight, represented by uh, Steve Noyce, the CEO, Warren McDonnell, who uh, most of you will remember. Warren was the general manager at the Magpies for five years, I think it was. Also Tim Sheen's head coach, and uh, the chairman, the current chairman of West Tigers, Mr David Trotton, also the chairman of the Balmain Tigers. And just as importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we are fortunate enough here to have tonight of the victorious uh, West Tigers first grade side last year, all former Magpies, some of them juniors, and I'm looking at them now, Brett Hodson, Liam Fulton, Anthony, La Anthony LaFranchi, and the big fella, John Scandalis. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked in recent times why a celebration of the 70s, why a team of the 70s. Well, there's a very simple answer to that. Some 18 months ago when we embarked on, uh, on the uh, team of the century function, and even before that, when we were selecting the team, it became very, very obvious that uh, there was a, a lot of magnificent players, a lot of magnificent identities for this club that had proudly worn the black and white of the Magpies, who for one reason or another weren't fortunate enough to make that very, very exclusive team of the 70s team, sorry, team of the century team. And when the 70s, when one looks back on the era of the 70s, it was very much a defining era for the Western Suburbs Club. Following the disappointment of the 60s in losing three consecutive grand finals to St George and the departure of a number of players from the club, uh, riding on the back of that, there is no escaping the fact that the Magpies did not enjoy the best of times towards the latter part of the 60s. And indeed, with the departure of a lot of experienced players, it was left to a lot of young emerging players to carry the load and to re-establish the Magpies as a credible and competitive force in rugby league. And under the astute guidance of coaches, uh, Ronnie Watson, who's represented here tonight by his wife, Bev, Don Parrish, and later Roy Masters, what they did in the 70s was to re-establish Western Suburbs as a credible and competitive force in rugby league. The 70s era marked a year of many firsts. The game of rugby league itself changed considerably in the 70s. We saw the introduction of uh, what would now be called a, a, an early, earlier version of the salary cap. We had the import rule. We had uh, a number of changes to the, uh, the competition, the, the laws of the game and what have you. And we even had a first um, inciting, citing players from, uh, from television uh, replay, television vision. And uh, I think the only two players, the only two players in the 70s and the only club to suffer that citing was Western Suburbs. But um, nevertheless, uh, despite, despite the best efforts of the establishment of Phillips Street, and despite the departure of a number of players and the problems associated with finances and what have you, it still did not, pre it did not prevent the Magpies from fielding a competitive team. But more than a competitive team, those younger players in the earlier years and graduating on to the latter period of the 70s, they forever changed the game of rugby league. At a time when rugby league was suffering in terms of challenges from other codes, another sport, the way in which Western Suburbs played the game at its ferocious best, in the true spirit of the working class person's game, and in the true spirit of a club representing exactly what it was, a club that was created to represent the working class, they provided the, the rugby league public with a spectacular of tough, uncompromising, unrelenting rugby league that was forever to change the, the game of rugby league in the modern era. And when one considers the players that have come through this club through the 70s, a lot of whom are here today or tonight, and the, the significant identities such as Tom Rodonicus, who, as we know, signed in what was those days considered to be a life contract, and for all intents and purposes, that's what it ended up being, the big fella Dallas, Boydie, John Dorohy, Mick Labinskis. Mick, where are you? Labinskis Affair, good on you, mate. <laughs> Another significant event in the 70s, which you'll hear about. When you look at the calibre of players that all contributed to 
re resurrecting Western Suburbs as a credible team, uh, it's, it's no wonder that we went from a club of players that nobody wanted to know to a club that every club wanted to plunder and uh, rape rapists and, and take whatever player that stuck their head up in a black and white jersey. So the 70s was very much the rebirth of the Magpies. It was a very, very significant era of which we had a lot of magnificent players. And tonight we intend to recognise and pay tribute to those wonderful players, those wonderful identities that were very much a part of the very proud history of the Western Suburbs Magpies. I hope you all have a wonderful night tonight as you join in these celebrations and I hope you all, those of you who joined us with the Team of the Century function, I hope you enjoy yourself in a similar fashion to that as we celebrate a magnificent year in the history of this club. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to welcome to the stage uh, my colleague and chairman of the West Ashfield Lees Club, Mr Peter Hargrove, who, as Mike said, uh, is our major sponsor. Uh, I have made no secret of the fact that if it was not for the support that this club has given throughout its 50 years of history, quite often to its own detriment, then this club would not be around here today. And it is with great pleasure that I welcome to the stage Mr. Peter Hardgrove. Thank you, Kevin, for those kind words. Uh, you might notice in your uh, agenda for the evening, or uh, it says that Peter Hardgrove will respond on behalf of the guests. Firstly, I'd like to make a few uh, points that, as chairman of this club, I'd like to welcome you all on behalf of the management and the directors you're more than welcome to have anybody from the Magpie family in our club. The more uh, I was sitting there listening to what uh, Kevin was saying, it reminded me of about a few months ago when many of the same faces that are here today sat down to celebrate 50 years of this club's existence. And we were reminded then that uh, 50 years ago we, we uh, got the club and put it together for the simple reason of, uh, amongst other things, uh, supporting rugby league in the western suburbs. And then we, we started to think about it and we've gone from Patton Park to Lidcombe and now to Campbelltown and indeed into a joint venture with uh, what were our arch enemies, uh, Balmain Tigers. I, I just uh, find it funny how things change but they stay the same. We're back here at Ashfield, at Wests, celebrating the team of the 70s. We're back here where we should be, and this is the heart of the Magpies, I believe. So again, welcome. <laughs> I would like to take the opportunity now of, uh, I have some inside information in regards to uh, the work that Kevin and his board, in particular uh, Rick Wade, uh, Ronnie Powell, Dennis, and uh, Bob Iverson, and I'll probably lose somebody out and I'll get into trouble about it later, but I know that the amount of time that they have spent putting this evening together, uh, and also to John Edwards and his management, I'm sure that you will enjoy the evening. I'm absolutely positive you will. So on your behalf, I'd like to thank Kevin and his board for uh, choosing this venue to celebrate um, what I believe will just be one of the most magic nights that you've ever had. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter, and thanks again to West Ashfield for their backing, not just of tonight, but of the team.